Good day Grade 12s, welcome to the second lesson in statistics. In this lesson we're going to learn about the least squares regression line. So let's go through it. The least squares regression line is a line of best fit. And in your case, your line of best fit is always going to be, the least square regression line is going to be a straight line with the equation y is equal to a plus bx, where a is your y-intercept and b is the gradient. Now remember, and it's very important, that the outliers are excluded from the calculation. So, we calculate the x, average of x and the average of y using the formula that the average of x is just the sum of all the x I don't know if I'm right. there we go the sum of all the x divided by n the average of y is the sum of all the y divided by n okay so then we can calculate the gradient b u of the line using the formula that b is the sum of x minus x average times by y minus y average all over the sum of x minus x average squared. Now I'm going to do another lesson where I'll show you how to do this on your calculators. So you don't have to panic, you don't have to do this manually. This lesson is mainly just to show you where we are getting this information from and how we will apply it. In the next lesson we'll actually do some questions where we'll use our calculators to find all this information out. So at the moment all you need to know is that to calculate the gradient of B we use the equation x minus x average which we got from there times by y minus y average which we got from there all over x minus x average squared and then we calculate the y-intercept by substituting a or the y-intercept a by substituting the average x and the average y into this and then we've got it because we've got b we've got b from there this has to be the average x and this has to be the average y and then we will get a so that is calculated the least squares regression line manually and like i said we will do it using a calculator in another lesson now what this means the predictions using the line of best fit the line of best fit is useful to make predictions about the given data set there are lots of things we can do the first is interpolation interpolation is when we use the given x or y value on the line that's already there to make a prediction in other words we don't extend the line we just read off the line that is interpolation but if we extend our line beyond the data that we have then we use extrapolation. So if we extend our data line, that is extrapolation. Now remember, this is just a theory lesson. We will do a total example lesson where we show you how to use all of this. The correlation coefficient, which is used to work out how closely the data fits the best line. So this is the formula for the correlation coefficient. And again, I do not want you to panic because I'm going to show you how to do this in the calculator. I just want you to know the theory. Where r is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times by the sum of x minus x average over s of x times by y minus y average over s of y where n is the number of data pairs s of x is the standard deviation of the x values and s of y is the standard deviation of the y values and obviously x the different data and x line is the average x and similarly for y like I said don't panic I'm going to show you how to do this in a calculator but you need to see what this actually looks like before we carry on now what does this mean from that horrible equation we can get r and r is going to always fall between 1 and minus 1. If r is very close to minus 1, then it has a negative and strong correlation. If it's 0, then there's no correlation. Where if it's 1, it indicates a positive and strong correlation. What does that mean? Let's look at our graphs. So if you look over here, you can see that we've got a scatter plot over here and we've got a correlation R of 0 0.9. So what does that mean? It means that we've got a strong positive correlation. Yeah, we've got a negative 0 0.6. So therefore we've got a negative 
correlation and it's fairly strong 0.6 is fairly strong and yeah you will see that our R is approximately 0.1 so it's very close to zero and therefore there is no correlation and that is your theory behind your regression your best fit lines and about working out your correlations we will do another lesson where I show you how to use your calculators Thank you, grade 11s. Please go through this again and make sure you understand it, and then we'll put it together with a practical example, and that will help you understand. Cheers.